Another important aspect of Deathly Hallows Part 1 was the hunt for the Horcruxes. In this film, they did successfully find one, I believe, the locket. Now, the locket belonged to Salazar Slytherin and somehow ended up in Umbridge's possession, if you remember Umbridge from uh, movie 5 and book 5. So, the next thing we're going to look at is the locket. Uh, now, the locket does contain a piece of Voldemort's soul, which makes it incredibly unstable and incredibly dangerous. So, this is the locket theme. So it starts off with this very slow, mysterious um, harp um, and strings. It's very minor and bringing about this um, sort of clash of minor scales and of minor chords. It's, it's very soft and very eerie, so it's not really presenting any immediate danger, but it's sort of a subconscious danger. The use of these um, woodwind instruments, I think this is a flute, um, is really sort of um, bringing out this low, eerie tone. Um, usually flutes and woodwinds and, lights and higher strings are used for um, urgent and for um, sort of bigger things. So this is, so now we have a crescendo sort of going back. And it's, it, it's very much like the Voldemort theme in the fourth movie, uh, where we have these big crescendos to nothing. So that's sort of been being brought back in this. So you have these crescendos. Um, it's very uneasy the way it's being played. Um, sort of very slow, not urgent at all. We have a choir coming in now, just singing a very simple melody. Um, it's really good for this sort of eerie quality that's presenting that there's a piece of soul inside this locket. And sort of these um, minor, almost clashing chords um, that are bringing in this really simple melody that all brings it all together in this sort of, in this clash. But it's not really a clash, it's atonal, but it's tonal. And you get the word for the word for that in this chord. And that's the end. So the locket theme is really important for that move for the first movie because of these horcruxes that they have to find and destroy so they can finally take down Voldemort in part two.